in this video i will consider one example on boolean function place the following equations into the proper canonical form here two functions are given one is p which consists of three variables a b c and the function is a b bar plus a c bar plus b c this is in swap form that is sum of product form and another function is t which is a plus b bar b bar plus c this is in pos form that is product of some form we supposed to convert these two into proper canonical form proper canonical form means standard sop standard sop or standard pos let me take the first function that is the first function is p which consists of three variables or literals a b c and the given function is a b bar a c bar plus a c bar then we have b c so the standard sop means each product term should consist of all the literals here in a b bar in first product term c is missing we will try to add the missing variable as a b bar i will write that missing variable as c plus c bar because we know that c plus c bar is nothing but one by boolean laws plus here a c bar missing term is b i can represent it as b b bar b b bar is nothing but one which is same as a c bar plus b c here missing term is a that is a plus a bar let me simplify by applying associative law here a b bar c or i can write it as a b bar c bar plus this can be written as a c bar b plus a c bar b bar plus b c a plus b c a bar i will write in proper order a b c considering a as msb c as lsb so i can write it as a b bar c plus here we have a b bar c bar plus this can be written as a b c bar plus this will be a b bar c bar plus a b c plus a bar b c i will try to represent in binary not binary notations that is a means 1 b bar means 0 c means 1 that is 1 0 1 plus this can be written as 1 0 0 plus this will be 1 1 0 plus this will be 1 0 0 plus this will be 1 1 1 plus this will be 0 1 1 1 here 1 0 0 and 1 0 0 is two times so we know that a plus a is equal to a so we can represent instead of two times we have to represent only one time so in terms of decimal notation i can represent it as summation m so this is with respect to 5 this is 4 One one zero means six. One 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 means seven. Zero one one means three. Let me write in proper ascending order. I can write it as three, four, five, six, seven. So this is in standard SOP form or proper SOP form. Now let me consider the second example or second function. that is t is equal to a plus b bar a plus b bar and another sum term is b bar plus c we have b bar plus c so this is in pos form we have to make bring it to proper pof or standard pof in standard pof each sum term consists of all variables here variable c is missing i should add it as a plus b bar plus c c bar because we know that c c bar is nothing but zero so it is same as a plus b bar similarly here variable a is missing i will write it as b bar plus c plus a a bar a a bar is nothing but zero so now i will apply distributive law so according to distributive law we know that a plus bc 
can be written as a plus b a plus c this is the distributive law so let me consider this as single term <coughs> so this can be written as a plus b bar one term i will take plus c in another bracket a plus b bar and next term is plus c bar similarly this can be written as this is single term b bar plus c plus a second one is b bar plus c plus a bar let me write considering a as msb and c as lsb a plus b bar plus c here we have a plus b bar plus c bar this is a plus b bar plus c this will be a bar plus b bar plus c so here a plus b bar plus c and here also we have a plus b bar plus c so instead of two times we should write it one times now let me represent in decimal notation <coughs> so this is with respect to 0 1 0 0 1 0 this will be 0 1 1 and this will be this is same as this one and here it will be 1 1 0 so in decimal notation i can represent it as pi m capital m indicates max term this will be 2 this will be 3 and this will be 6 this is in standard pos form or proper pos form thank you for watching